All right, hey guys, welcome back to another Marvel Legendary video. So this is a little impromptu because uh, I wanted to try some stuff out and I think it's gonna work out really well. Um, and I was gonna save it for the next video for Legendary because I have a video recorded for something else on my old camera. So I got a new camera. Uh, it's a Logitech Brio. Gonna see if it works a little bit better. Uh, and I also got another lamp to create better lighting. Anyway, I set this up, wanted to see if it's gonna work a little bit better. Um, but I didn't want to do it. I wanted to kind of christen it with a playthrough of Legendary because that's what this whole thing's about. So I'm still kind of figuring out the lamps. Um, I may need a, it's a little bright, but we'll work with it for now. The exciting part is this. So let's kind of just jump into it here. So we're going to be doing uh, Mysterio, which we all know and love. And you can read the card. <laughs> So he uh, he is he's eight attack his master strike is shuffled his master strike into the Mysterio's face down mastermind tactics it becomes a mastermind tactic worth six victory points. We're gonna be doing humanity on trial. Eleven twists. We're gonna stack uh, eleven bystanders next to the scheme face down as galactic jurors. Special rules are each twist gives you a challenge uh, to achieve this turn if you do. You've convinced a juror and you rescue them. If you don't, you put the juror face up uh, next to the villain deck, voting to condemn humanity. One and two is opening arguments. Discard three cards with different names. Questions, or twist five, three, five, and seven is question witnesses. Uh, re recruit a hero that costs five or more. Twist four, six, and eight is introduce evidence. Defeat a villain worth three victory points or more. Twist nine through 11 is closing arguments. Defeat the mastermind. And evil wins when six jurors vote to condemn humanity. All right. And we're going to be using uh, Reavers and the Brood for our, hench for our villain and henchman. And for the heroes, we're using Banshee, Siren, and um, Black Swan. So, all right. So let's see how well this is going to work out. Okay. All right. So we have a Brood here. One attack. The villain gets plus one attack for each bystander on the KO pile. KO one of your heroes and KO bystander when we defeat it. So... All right, so we have four and one. Um, we may have to get some piercing energy stuff. The problem is Banshee's the only one with piercing energy, so it's not going to really do us a whole lot. However, I'm not really in a good spot here with some of this other stuff, so I'll go ahead and get this um, solar detection. It's uh, draw a card. If I have X gene red, I get the one plus, plus one piercing energy, so I have to have at least one red hero in my uh, discard pile. And then we we'll use the other two to get a sidekick, which is going to be our classic here, uh, Lockheed, to attack. If I play a blue here, I get plus one attack, and I put this on the bottom of the side stand, bystander stack. Oh, I guess I could have fought the brood. So let me go ahead and fight him. So we're going to kill that. We're going to KO one of our heroes, and we're going to KO a bystander. So when the next one comes out, it'll be a little stronger. Also, I got this other mat here. So... Most of my videos, you'll see this mat on the bottom. Um, when I do some other gameplay of like other games, you'll see it predominantly. I got it; it's still kind of rolled up, so I'm trying to straighten it out. Um, but yeah, kind of to make it a little. Uh, I didn't want the glass reflecting. The Spider-Man one, why I like it and I'll use it for stuff, is too small. This is a big play mat. So anyway, all right. Scheme twist. So, oh, I didn't stack the jurors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11. Okay. So on the first one, it says discard three cards with different card names. Uh, we're not going to be able to do that because I only have <laughs> that. So it says anytime we do that, um, if you don't, you put that juror face down. Oh, face up next to the villain deck. So we're not going to be able to. So we're going to put that face up next to the villain deck. We're going to put something on the bottom. I've got a lot of stuff here. Um, actually, let's get rid of this. Cause this is recruit anyway. Okay. So we've got four and two. Let's go ahead and grab apocalyptic vision. Two plus attack. Um, if I play a blue here, I can reveal the top card of villain deck. If it's a scheme twist, I get plus two attack. Otherwise put it back on top or bottom. So then that way I can kind of push down stuff if need be. Um, oh yeah, here we go. Um, I feel like we're almost perfect for gameplay. I gotta figure out the lighting, like I said. Um, I, 
I don't know. The second lamp has made the lighting even, but it's still kind of bright. My walls are white. The ceiling is white. I have a lot of stuff on the wall up here. Um, so that's, I don't know if that's changing anything. I don't know if I need to point the lamps elsewhere, like away, and use the reflect. Because I'm trying to get it to reflect, and that's what's giving us the light. Um, but I'll figure it out. I'm, like, just super excited that this is going to be cool. So, anyway. All right. We've got another scheme twist. So, I will actually be able to discard three cards of different names. We're not going to be able to attack anything this turn. So, I'll discard this, this, and this. And that's okay. So, um, each Swiss gives you a challenge. Uh, I read this and I completely forgot what it does. If you do, you have convinced the juror, then you rescue them. If you don't, okay, so we're going to rescue this juror. It's going to be Heartless Computer Scientist. It's uh, to recruit, but if I play a black hero, I can KO a card from a hand or discard pile, uh, which would be great. We need to put something on the bottom while we're at it. Okay. Okay. So we'll do this and we'll draw a card. We've got two recruit here and one attack. Uh, we'll get a sidekick here. So it's just our classic. And turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. I was like, where did my bystander go? It was a hero. Bystander. All right. Ooh, all recruit here. So let's grab a Sonic Blast Wave. Three, uh, recruit. If I play a blue hero, I can use recruit to produce piercing energy instead, uh, which is great because uh, we're going to have to probably use that to take out some, uh, some of the mysterious stuff. Now, Banshee, too bad he doesn't follow like twos and fours and sixes for a siren like a siren didn't have him because siren was uh, after um but as you can tell their costumes are very similar bro i am so hyped off of this <laughs> i hope you guys are excited about it too because i am one thing that i've struggled with forever is the autofocus thing and i think this camera even if i had to autofocus even if we did this I think it autofocus better, but having the text come up right there, it just makes it that much more, uh, I think, enjoyable to kind of follow. Okay, we have Skullbuster here. So he's going to ambush. He's going to pray. Okay, I'll just have to, I'm going to read it to you. You can read it here. Ambush, uh, prey on the fewest blue, which will be me. Skullbuster captures one bystander from the bystander stack and two bystanders from that player's victory pile of your choice. And when he finishes the prey, he'll KO the bystanders and each player discards a card so he will capture a bystander i don't have any in my victory pile um but i have to defeat him or he'll come back out into the city and finish the prey so we'll be able to do it i'm going to do this and draw my two i think we will at least um we have yeah we have uh, oops one it's not a playthrough unless i drop a card uh two three four five we're going to play this to draw a card Oh, interesting. Five. So let's go ahead and take this out. Um, and then we'll rescue this bystander. So we'll get two to recruit into the bank. Now I have six recruit here and I can use it for piercing energy. So I'm going to use my six recruit to turn to piercing energy and actually hit Mysterio because he has six victory points. So first off, we're going to take uh, this bystander. Which is going to be you can uh, when you KO this bystander or when you rescue this bystander KO one of your heroes. So let's go ahead and KO this, and then our first tactic will be uh, rescue a bystander for each mass mine tactic left under uh, out left after this one, which is three. So we have uh, rocket <laughs> uh, test pilot. You can when you rescue this bystander hyperspeed for one of those icons for three. So I'm going to choose recruit, and we have one, two, and one or zero. So we have to recruit from that, uh, rescue our next bystander, which is going to be Banker, two under the bank. All right, so I have four under the bank, so this is free. And then finally, uh, Undercover Shield Agent is going to get us a Shield Officer, which is going to be a plain one. Uh, might as well grab this for the four for free, which is Hypnotic Call. If I play a red hero, I can shatter each hero in the HQ, whose printed cost is two, four, six, and eight. Um, I know that I messed that up in that one playthrough, but I think I called it out uh, part with it at playthrough. Um, I did hyperspeed for the recruit, so let's go ahead and uh, recruit a sidekick, another Lockheed, and we'll end the turn. How about that? All right. One, two, three, four, five. 
Okay. So, I want you guys to let me know. This is better. <laughs> um, I have it. Maybe I could... Well, I don't know if I can move this screen. Move this, like... Uh, I, I think it's fine where it is. But, it's basically, I have a... Uh, I have a my set my old webcam right here and right underneath here is literally a piece of <laughs> it's a piece of green poster board and it makes a good green screen so um I got this idea there's a YouTuber for solo board games Rido I got it from him so all the credit to him cuz I'm like that's genius um, anyhow, let's go ahead and move on here. Scheme twist. So the third one is going to be, um, recruit a hero that costs five or more. We can do that. We're going to be able to do that because we have five recruit. Yeah, I think we have even six recruit. Let's put something on the bottom and that will be apocalyptic vision. All right. So we have six recruit and I'm going to hold on to this one because I don't want it to go with our six recruit. I need to grab something that's five or more. Let's, uh, well, this will get us more recruit. So I'm kind of thinking about that. However... There's a lot of attack here. Mm. Yeah, let's get Sonic Blast Wave. And um, so we're going to get that. I am going to recruit this. It's just a plain bystander. Or it's rescue, what I mean. And then we'll end the turn. Alright. Master Strike. So it's going to get shuffled in as one of his new tactics. Another Master Strike. Scheme twist. So this one's going to be uh, defeat a villain worth five or more, uh, three, three or more victory points. We're not going to be able to do that because I don't have any villains to fight. So I kind of want to keep this. Ah, we're going to put this on the bottom. All right. Okay. So first off, we have this attack here. Hmm. We're gonna do this to draw a card. Unfortunately, I don't get any uh, anything off of that. I can make five recruit, um, which is not enough to fight Mysterio. And I can't make enough attack to fight Mysterio, so we're kind of in a weird bind here. I can, however, we're gonna play this for the recruit. So I have five recruit here. Um, if we can, it's kind of blurry. It's kind of blinding, come on. One of these days, the light will get better, but that's not today. We'll play this. It says reveal the top card of the villain deck. If it's a scheme twitch, you get plus two attack. Otherwise, put it on the top or the bottom. We're going to look. It's a master strike. We're going to put it on the bottom. Um, so it's only five attacks. We really can't do anything with that. However, we have five recruit. So let's go ahead and use that to grab echolocation. Uh, one attack. Choose a hero class. Investigate for a card of the hero class. Pretty straightforward. Still have three left. I'll get another echolocation. And that'll end the turn. Uh, lighting's a little bit better. I want to do this one this way. Uh, maybe it's a... Well, I don't know. Oh, well. We'll just leave it like that for now. All right. Scheme twist. So this time again, we're going to have to recruit something that's five or more. And I'm not going to be able to do that. So we're going to actually lose that witness here and I do have to put something on the bottom unfortunately however maybe we can hit Mysterio yeah we can we've got two three four five six seven eight attack and two recruit um, well maybe I will be able to recruit something let's kill him once oh uh, no it's one of these okay never mind he's got one that's like you get recruit for every tactic underneath so I probably should have waited um, but that's okay we'll get a sidekick here and then when the turn, I need villains to come up. Come on now, Master Strike. Why not I put that one on the bottom? So all right, we've got a Bone Breaker, Ambush, uh, Prey on the Few as a Green. Oh, why again? Why am I reading it? You guys can see it. <laughs> uh, finish the Prey. Uh, that player gains a wound on top of their deck, and in fight, I can reveal the top card of my deck and KO it or draw it. We're gonna, he's gonna prey on us. We should be able to defeat him. Let's uh, investigate for a blue. So we'll look at the top two cards here. We have a blue. Um, 
I won't be able to fight him though, so that's kind of problematic. However, we can recruit some stuff. So I'm gonna put this on the bottom. We're gonna get this blue. Uh, I'm gonna do it again for blue. I didn't get it this time, so we'll just put it back. Um, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, so let's grab this, which is going to be Splintering Shriek. Siren's rare. We can shatter the mastermind, KO up to two cards uh, from your hand or this card pile. So this will be great. We'll clear some stuff out. Oh, rare, rare, rare. <laughs> All the rares. Okay, so we're going to end the turn. We're going to finish the prey. I'm going to take a wound. And it's just a, this Grievous wound here. You're going to spend five attack to KO this one. It's going to go on top of my deck. He's going to re-enter the city. And the turn is going to end. And maybe we can actually kill him, and then that way, if like the next thing's a scheme twist. Um, okay, we have Pretty Boy. He's gonna pray on the Fluous Red, which is gonna be me. Um, finish the oh well, okay, look, I got habits to break. Um, finish the prey. That player discards a card. If I fight him, I discard the top card of my deck. If it's a recruit icon, I get plus one recruit, and this villain prays again on the fewest um, yellow. So we're gonna or red. I mean, so we're gonna see if we can try to just knock him out. So first and foremost, I'm gonna do this. I'll get to draw my card, and I have red in my discard pile, so I get one piercing energy. We've got two attack there, so let's go ahead and take him out. So we're going to kill him. Um, it says discard the top card of, of your deck. It doesn't have a recruit icon, so um, he gets killed, so he's gone. So we don't have to worry about the prey. The question is, now, I'm going to leave him out because I don't want to... I don't want to... Uh, I want to be able to kill something with some victory points. So we're going to just drop these down here for four. I'll play this, reveal the top card of the villain deck. If it's a scheme twist, uh, I get plus two attack, and it is. So I have four attack from this, which is a little too short here. Um, with the four recruit, we'll grab a, another one of these hypnotic calls, and I'll end the turn. But basically, yeah, the next twist will come out. And... Um, the next twist coming out, we have the, uh, we have to kill a villain, I think. Yeah, we're three or victory points or more. So that's the next thing we got to do. So, so I'm actually uploading this, like, the day you're seeing this is Friday. Or the day I, I'm recording this is Friday. Uh, I'm going to upload it tomorrow, so you'll see it on Saturday. And then I think in let... In, in the video I did on Friday, I taught, said I have a, a game, I have a one deck dungeon playthrough coming out Sunday. So that'll still come out Sunday. It's my old setup. But going forward, this is what I'm going to end up doing. Things seem to be working the way that I was hoping. I may kind of figure out the lighting situation again. But for the most part, this is incredible. Um, so long as everything works okay, we're good to go. And then uh, this is how you'll see stuff going forward. So I'm going to try to get a villain's playthrough out on Tuesday. And then we'll throw another uh, legendary play out, legendary playthrough on on uh, on uh, Friday. This was just because I got so excited. So <laughs> uh, you'll get some bonus content. That's that's what better way to celebrate. Okay, we have to get a villain that is worth uh, six or three victory points or more, uh, which we should be able to do. So first off, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna investigate for a blue hero. I did not get a blue hero. I am going to put them back this way, though. I'm going to... I've got two, three, four. I'm going to use two of it to get this uh, sonar detection. Um, I'm going to kind of set those aside to know that I paid that. We're going to play this to draw a card. I'm going to get one piercing energy because I have a red hero here. We're going to do this to draw two. All right, here we go. Got a lot of stuff here. So, I'm going to, ugh, it's not going to really work out too well. I'm going to do this and shatter the mastermind. I don't have things to KO, but he's four attack for a fight. Um, let's see, I've got one attack, I've got one piercing energy. I've got three attack, everybody is halved. I have a lot of choices to make. The thing is, I have to kill him, um, or I don't get... The thing, and I don't know that I have enough to kill him. <laughs> I got so caught up in all this other stuff that I don't think I have enough to kill him, and I might end up losing the the. 
I may end up losing the thing this turn. And there's this, but I didn't play a blue hero. So, what was I thinking? So I have five recruit, I've got three attack, and I've got one piercing energy. I did not think this one through. I can't do anything. I can recruit something. So we're going to get um, uh, Bone Shattering Howl because it's halved right now. Um, it's four piercing energy. If I play a blue and a green, a blue and a, and a red hero, I can use attack this turn as if it were piercing energy. So I have that at least. Um, yeah, kind of messed up there. Oh, well. <laughs> That's gone, and we're going to end the turn. <laughs> I didn't think that through very well. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I think that, uh, so let's see. There's We're on twist seven, so I'm going to recruit something that's five or more. That's okay. Uh, we got Bone uh, Skullbuster again. He's going to take a bystander from here, and he's going to take two from my victory pile. So I'm going to give him that one, and I'm going to give him that one. All right, so can we kill him? The answer is yes, we can. Okay, I have two attack here. This is gonna give me the piercing energy and I've got three here. We're gonna kill him with piercing energy. So he's dead, we're gonna get this. Review, um, this is, uh, when you rescue his bison, look at the top three cards of your deck. Discard one, KO one, and put the other one back. So discard, KO, put back. Then we have this, which is going to be a KO uh, one of your heroes or a hero from your discard pile. So that's gone. Then we have a plain one, which we knew we had. Um, I've got three recruits still. Let's grab one of these Speed of Sounds. So it's got Soaring Flight. I'll get a set of the side on my next turn. And then it's got Piercing Energy 2. So just a little bit of something there. All right. Scheme Twist. I gotta recruit something that is five or more, and I can do it. So let's put something on the bottom here. It'll be this. Okay, so I've got two, three. I'm gonna investigate for a class, uh, hero class, which I'm gonna pick blue. And neither are blue. I'm going to put them both on the bottom. Uh, that's okay, though. I'm going to do this and shatter everybody uh, down here. That is uh, two, six, four, six, or eight. With that shatter, this is going to cost me three, so I'll recruit this. It's a uh, three octave arpigello. Ar I don't know. Four attack. If I have tactical formation, two, six, four. Two, four, six. The same thing. <laughs> shatter all villains. So I have to have at least a hero of two, a hero of four, and a hero cost of six. To do that, um, I get to rescue this bystander, which is going to be Magma, which is another blue hero. Uh, choose one, draw a card, I get plus two attack, so it's pretty good. And then I have, so that was the seventh one. So for eight, I still need to defeat a villain. Um, so we're going to sit on that. However, I have one, two, three, four, five, and I've got two piercing energy. So I can't really do anything with that, so we're going to let the turn go. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Scheme twist. Let's throw something to the bottom. Okay, so now we do have to kill him to rescue this thing, which we should be able to. All right. So, I'm trying to figure this out here because I think I could do this in such a way that I could. Hmm. So we'll get this for three. We're going to play this, reveal the top card of the villain deck. If it's a scheme twist, so get plus two attack, and it's not. Otherwise, put it back on top or bottom, I'll put it back on top. It's going to give us two, four. This thing is piercing energy. So I have seven piercing energy, four attack, um, and seven recruit, just that they're all kind of together. Unfortunately, I won't be able to hit both, but we're going to use three of the piercing energy and we'll take out him, which means we'll rescue the bystander, which is comic book shopkeep. Uh, when you rescue this bystander, reveal the top three cards of the hero deck, put uh, the player of your choice gains one that costs three or less, put the rest back in any order. So we have these three, um, and we're going to grab this. So these two are going to go back. 
Then, I can't do anything with this, but I do have four recruit, so I will grab another speed of sound. It's going to get set aside, and we're going to replace it with the speed of sound. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So he's going to come out. We know we have a bystander that has been KO'd, so he's plus two attack. All right. So we're going to shatter the mastermind and KO up to two cards from our hand or discard pile. So that's gone, and that's gone. This is what I really wanted to do. He's four attack right now. Uh, we're going to do this. We're going to draw a card, and we do have piercing energy for that. Okay, hold on. Hold on. we got a lot going on here. So I'm going to use my piercing energy to take... Let's see. Hold on. Let me play stuff first. He's two attack, but he's only one victory point. So, all right. So let's uh, investigate for a blue, which we didn't get. I'm going to put this back the way it is. Oh, man. Oh, I have this. I forgot. I have this. So there's more piercing energy. So there's three piercing energy. There's two attack. There's three recruit. And there is a bunch more piercing energy. So this is going to be four piercing energy. I can use this for piercing energy as well because I played a blue and a red. And then um, so I'm going to use one piercing energy to take him out. Uh, I'm going to KO one of my heroes. I have to do have to KO a bystander. Uh, so that's gone. And then I have six piercing energy to take out Mysterio. This tactic is if this is... If this is not the final tactic, shuffle a Master Strike tactic from each player's victory pile into Mysterio's uh, tactics. And so I have this. Let me shuffle back in. Oh, I shattered him too. But he's only he's only four attack. And I only have, he's four attack, and I only have uh, two, so I can't fight him. But that's okay. And then I have I still have two victor. I have two recruit. We'll get another echolocation. Okay. I don't think I used it. All right. I don't even know if we're going to win, and I really don't even care. <laughs> uh, we have a brood here. He's going to be three. that here boom three attack all right let's see if we figure out what we have and just to kind of think about stuff here we've already gone through eight so all of them are going to be uh i have to defeat the mastermind on the last three three of four of them have already been decided so i have to i have to get at least two of them off of there so hopefully we can make that work so first off we're going to do this we'll investigate for a hero class i'm going to choose blue uh, we got a blue i'm gonna put this back on top we are going to, let's see. I'm going to do this to shatter the mastermind and KO these two for my hand. We're going to play this to draw a card. Uh, I'm going to play this and it shatters nobody. <laughs> but he's four attack. I'm going to play this for two attack. And then I've got a two recruit there. We'll take out another tactic because he's only four. Um... This is the one I was talking about earlier. You get plus one uh, recruit for each mastermind tactic underneath this one, which is going to be four. So we have six recruit right now. Um, we're going to get this for three. He's got Soaring Flight, and we're going to get this for three, and it has Soaring Flight. And then we're going to end the turn. That way, we've got, we're have got we posed up to uh, kind of deal with him. Oh, yeah, we're going to be really good this turn. Okay. We have Donald Pierce. Um, he is going to uh, prey on me and then... Finish the prey, KO one of your non-gray heroes. If I fight him and defeat him, I KO one of my gray heroes. Uh, not really thinking about him right now, but maybe we can do something here. So we've got six piercing energy there. Do I have... I don't have my tactical formation, unfortunately, but there's four, six attack. So let's take him out. Um, we'll, I'll KO this. We're going to use our piercing energy to take out this. It's one of those. Oh, and then um, we'll play this, reveal the top card of the villain deck. It's a scheme to us to get two attack. And we have this, which is also going to be piercing energy. Um, I can't really do anything with it. So we're going to recruit this for two and end the turn. All right. Okay, so now we have to actually make a, make a thing here. So we have to defeat the Mastermind. K 
Can we do it? Yeah, I think we'll be fine. Okay, so we're gonna do this for two. We're gonna play this, draw a card. I get my one piercing energy, because I've got red. So there's three piercing energy. We're gonna uh, investigate for a blue. And we got a blue, I'm gonna put this back. Um, there's two attack there. There's recruit. This is gonna give us piercing energy. So this is gonna give us six piercing energy. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and then 14, 15. I got 15 piercing energy. So hit him for six. Um, if this is not the final tactic, reveal the top five cards of the middle deck, play all master strikes you revealed, put the rest of them back on the bottom in a random order. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, I know the bottom card should be one. Oh, that's seven. Oh, that's six. It should be five cards, right? Yeah, top five cards. <laughs> so there aren't any. So we know the next two are going to be. So let's see if we can do something here because um, we're kind of in a weird spot. So again, I had two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We're going to take out another tactic. So he's got uh, one left, but we know we have the twist coming up. Um, and then I'm going to use the rest of mine to take out this last brood. We're going to KO one of our heroes, and then we're going to KO a bystander. And then we're going to end the turn. So I didn't actually make out with taking all his tactics out before these last uh, strikes came up, but it's fine. So strike, that's a win. Strike, I know these are coming. And then we got Donald Pierce, so we're gonna have to deal with that. Okay, I'm gonna investigate for a blue. I didn't get one, put these both on the bottom. I'm going to, actually, hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna investigate for another blue. And I did get one, so I'm gonna get this one. Actually, hold on. It won't be enough to kill him. I'm going to get, I'm gonna get this one and put this one back. I'm gonna play this to draw a card. And then I've got these, I've got this, and I've got this. We're gonna piercing energy hit him. It's one of these. And then I've got two recruit, we'll get a sidekick. It's gonna be Zabu. Kale card from here, discard pile put this back then I can't really do anything so we're gonna end the turn and then we're gonna have to KO one of our non gray heroes so he's gonna come back and finish the prey with the KO one of our non gray heroes so I think it'll be well I'm trying to think here what's this one I'll KO this one all right next card bone breaker um, can we finish the game here so we do have tactical formation, so we're going to shatter all the villains. So he's three, and he's uh, three. We're going to investigate for a blue, um, in which I do have, so we're going to put this back. We're going to do this and shatters all of them that are two, four, and six, whatever. Okay, yeah, I think we're good. We're going to play these and get recruit uh, to make them piercing energy, and we're going to get these and make everything piercing energy. So basically everything's piercing energy. So we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Um, this will be three. This will be four, leaving me ten. So we can't go that route. They're half to attack right now. So let's take out this for six. Um, so I have eleven. Um, well, it doesn't matter the the combination because this is well. Okay, it does matter. Because I think I have I have enough to take everything out. So I've used six of my piercing energy on that. If I use three of my piercing energy or three of my attack, I can kill this. I have eight left. Right? Yeah, I won't be able to kill them because that was three. This will be three. Yeah, we'll just take out the last talk. It's okay. 
and it's that. All right, we won. So let's count the points. Uh, give me one moment. Okay, so we had 84 victory points because I had all these. And then we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 84 minus 36. Uh, I don't know how to do that math. I don't really want to do that math in my head. Um, 84. Oh, I hit the wrong button. 84 minus 36 is 48. Duh. Duh doy. All right. <laughs> That's going to be the playthrough. Taking out Mysterio, putting humanity on trial. Let me know what you guys think of the new uh, setup here with the cards. Please, this has got to be way better than it was before. So <laughs> let me know if it works out for you. And uh, I'll, we'll work on the lighting. But uh, that's going to be a playthrough today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next video tomorrow.